Grades are one of the most important tools that teachers, families, and students have to communicate about student learning that takes place at school. Unfortunately, too few students and parents know how to take full advantage of Skyward, the program we use at New Oxford to communicate about grades. In order to help with that, we have prepared this screencast to walk you through the basics of the program. Parents can access Skyward in two ways. First, you can download the Skyward app to your mobile device through either of the major app stores. Second, you can access it on a computer through the internet. To do so, go to the school district's homepage and hover over either students or parents, depending on which access you're looking for, choose Skyward Access, and click on Family Access Login. From there, you should have received information about what your username and password is. If not, please contact the office of your building. Once parents are into the gradebook, the first screen they'll get is the home screen. Any messages posted by the student's teachers or the school overall will be posted to what's known as the message center. Parents can sometimes respond to these messages and often can find a lot of important information. From here, parents have access to all sorts of other information as well. The main tool that we're going to be exploring is the gradebook. On the main page of the gradebook are several important pieces of information. First, any missing assignments that the student has will be posted at the top of the page. This way parents can get a quick glimpse of any work that the child may have fallen behind on. Second, students are able to look at their current trimester, as well as any past trimesters and their final average column. Some students are unsure what this last column is. It's a final average of all three trimesters or however, how, however many have taken place up to that point. Since we're still in the first trimester, the final average should match up. Unfortunately, most students don't make it far past this screen. They check their overall trimester averages and they hope for the best. Skyward is able to do much more of that and students who take advantage of those tools and resources are often the ones who are best able to maximize their learning. To begin with, students can drop down a specific class and see some of the scores that are contributing to their overall grade. Use the drop down arrow on the left to do so. For more of a history, you should be able to click a button that says for the next few assignments and the next set of assignments into the past will be listed. More than that though, students are able to click on the individual score of a trimester grade and get quite a bit more information. When you do so, an overall report of the student's progress will pop up. This screen is much more useful. To begin with, it breaks down the categories used in that specific course. Like many classes at New Oxford Middle School, this social studies class divides assignments into artifacts of learning, summarizers, and common assessments. You can see that each are worth a slightly different weighted amount. Artifacts of learning are small tasks that take place typically during class or for homework and count for 30% of the grade. As is fairly typical, in this course, you can see that there are several artifacts of learning and just a limited number of common assessments and summarizers. For this reason, the categories become very important. Skyward does a nice job breaking apart the different categories so that students and families can quickly see where they are excelling and where they are struggling. The solid blue bar at the top of each set of assignments is the breakdown of that specific category. So students are given their average score as well as the specific points earned in that category. When taken in combination with the other categories, that is how the student's final trimester grade is averaged. Within each category, there is then the list of specific assignments. Sometimes there are special codes. When this case is given, students and parents can click on the special code to see what exactly the issue is. In this case, it's a missing assignment that this student needs to complete. Other times, there's an empty space. Typically, this means that the student's work has not yet been graded by the teacher or that the student was absent on that day and the teacher is still expecting and waiting for that student to turn it in but has not yet marked it as missing. Anytime there's an asterisk in the list of points earned or a special code marked, 
parents should follow up with their child or the child's teacher to find out what's happening. When students click on a particular assignment, they'll then have access to more information. Teachers often type in a description so that parents can find out a little bit more about what the assignment was, and in some cases, they will include an attachment. If there's a paperclip next to the name of the document, parents can click on that paperclip, download it through whichever browser they might be using, and then they will have access to an electronic version of the assignment. From there, parents can either print it out or use that electronic preview to help the students find the paper within their own materials. All of these tools combine together to help parents stay on top of their students' learning. They can also help students be more independent and more responsible for their own learning as well. If you have any questions about how to use Skyward or getting access, please contact one of your students' teachers or the office for more information.